So from the look of this menu, straight off the bat, it's Modern Warfare, right? So the settings might be very similar to Modern Warfare, and it, it really does look like it. So graphics, I'm not sure, because normally in Treyarch games, we could go and put our brightness up to like all the way at 100, right? But in this game, we might, we might not be able to do that. We might, where is brightness anyways? Something's telling me it's going to be exactly like Modern Warfare games. It's on the same engine, so I'm going to leave it at 55 for now. But normally in Treyarch games, you could throw it all the way up to 100, and the game looks really nice and colorful. But because it's the same engine, I'm going to say you're going to actually want to set it to where it's barely visible and not visible. So just for now, we're going to leave it as is. I'm going to play around with this, obviously. But let's get into some actual settings here. Um, this is display, so it doesn't really matter. We'll get into quality, and we're going to talk about all these things here. So we're going to get to this, then we're going to go to controller settings, audio settings all that kind of stuff now first off I'm gonna keep this at hundred I'm not gonna put a higher or lower I just want to see how the game runs on this if it runs very smooth and I have no issues I'm gonna put it up to 110 at most but for the for the moment I'm just gonna leave it over at hundred fidelity FX cast we're gonna leave that on as well and VRAM scaling we're gonna leave at 80 and then texture resolution it's just pretty much low I think it's the same settings that I had on modern warfare so we're gonna leave everything as is just for the sake of it because I think it's gonna be the exact same as Modern Warfare, to be quite honest with you guys, these settings, there's no difference. Besides the fact that it's orange, it's exactly the same layout practically. So we're not going to really look at that too much. Um, field of view, we're definitely going to put this up. 90 is the base in this game. We're going to put it up to like 115, maybe 110, because I'm starting the game off and I feel like 110 might be good. And then affected rather than independent for ADS field of view. Weapon field of view, we're going to put to, I feel like, D yeah, let's just leave it default for now. I might switch it up to narrow um, or wide, probably wide, if anything, but we're going to leave it at default for now. World motion blur off, weapon motion blur off camera shake to the least and inverted flashbangs this is if you want your flashbangs to be black instead of white because white especially if you're playing in the dark and stuff it's so bright it's so annoying so just leave it off if you want it white turn it on if you want it black i'm gonna leave it off i don't really care at the moment that's it that's gonna be it for the display and all that kind of stuff let's go into the controller settings i want to see if they switched anything on me if anything's changed or anything like that so um sprint assist this is actually cool all right so sprint assist i've been hearing about this and pretty much it chooses how your, your, your sprint behaves. So if you have it off, I'm just going to read what it says on the right here. Sprint is activated manually with the sprint button. So you got to actually go ahead and sprint the way you normally do in CODs. If you turn it on, full movement input will activate sprint after the sprint assist delay time. So you can even lower the delay time if you really want it to be like automatic right away and stuff like that. But for the most part, I think I'm just going to leave this off. But I'm going to play around with it and kind of test it out and all that kind of stuff. Uh, tactical sprint assist, which is this one right here. This is forward movement input will activate tactical sprint after after the sprint assist delay time, uh, sideways backwards movement will activate sprint after the sprint delay time as well. So yeah, we're just gonna leave it off for the moment. Uh, if I do actually turn it on, I'll probably lower it to like 150, maybe all the way down to zero. Mantle assist, this one's cool, all right? So this one is pretty much um, low mantle assist or completely on. And it's once you run up to an object, it's just going to mantle it automatically. You're not going to have to press the jump button. You're not going to have to do anything like that. It's just going to do it automatically. Or you can turn it off. And then low, I guess it activates only when you're sprinting towards low objects. If the objects are high and stuff, it won't work. So we're, we're going to leave it off again. I don't really care for this. I, I just want to like, I want to jump when I want to jump, you know. I don't want it to do it for me. And then crouch is pretty much the same thing. You guys could go ahead. You can turn it on or off. And this is going to slide if you're running, if you're sprinting towards something that you can slide under, it's going to automatically do it for you. And then you could also go ahead and put it to tactical sprint only. And anyways, we're, we're just going to leave this all off. This is all stuff I'm going to test when the actual game comes out. Not really during the beta. Maybe I will test it a bit during the beta. I'm not sure, but for the most part, it is what it is, right? Uh, this is all movement stuff here. So movement is a whole new area in the actual uh, controller settings. So it's pretty cool. There's a lot of stuff here. Uh, vehicle advanced settings, I don't really care about that. Movement advanced settings, let's see what they got here. So sprint restore, slide maintain sprint on, obviously. Tactical sprint behavior, single tap for sprint. Um, plunging underwater, we want to trigger. Yeah, so that all those settings are pretty cool. They just put it all into one area. I think Modern Warfare has these as well. And then combat, and then we'll go into controller and aiming. Aim down sight behavior is hold. These all used to be under aiming, wasn't it? Now it's in combat, okay. Weapon mount activation, ADS, melee, that's how I'm, that's how I like to mount, yeah. Quick C4 de de detonation, one by one, yeah. Okay, that's cool. So when you throw it, you could explode it without throwing your other one and stuff. This they used to do in older CODs. I'm happy that's back. Equipment behavior hold, and yeah, pr okay, t scoreboard, yeah, just, well, all right, all right. Let's get into controller. We have it on custom, as you guys can see. It's my exact settings from Modern Warfare, right? So I, I'm just gonna go through these quickly. These aren't changed at all. Like I didn't even change it and it's already set to custom. So it is my Modern Warfare ones. So 6.6, six, I actually play 5.5 five sometimes, but 6.6 six, six might be the equivalent. 
in this game. I don't know. I'm just going to leave it at 6-6 six, six for now. Uh, simplified controls. We're going to leave that off. Low mortar strain. Again, we're going to leave this off. And uh, bumper ping, we're going to leave it off as well. Swap L1, R1, L2, R2. I do that. I know it might not be that comfortable. You don't have to do it, guys. I just I just draw my controller. Damn. <laughs> I personally just like it, like it on, all right? Uh, controller vibration off always. I always recommend that. And if you're playing with haptics, don't. <laughs> just turn it off, all right? This is this right here. Turn it off. Uh, dead zone inputs. Yeah, it's the exact settings that I have. So if you could put it to zero on the right stick minimum and the left stick minimum, go for it. If you have uh, some stick drift, leave it at 5, 10, wherever you don't have any more stick drift. And then left stick max 40, right stick 100 is going to be nice. And that's it for the controller. And then we'll go into the aiming here. And again, sensitivity. Uh, yeah, so air score streaks, I always lower this so you could control those air score streaks easier, especially like, let's say you're calling in a cruise missile or something, you want it to be lowered, all right? You want to be able to control this thing a lot easier. Tablet as well, when you call that thing out, you want to just be able to control stuff easier. Then ADS sensitivity multiplier. Again, this is uh, your six sensitivity when you're aiming on sights. I like this low. I like to set mine around 0.70 so that when you're actually aiming on sights and you have aim assist working with you, it's going to feel like glue. It's going to stick to the enemy so nicely. And it just works out. And then aiming advanced settings. This is pretty cool. Let's see what this is. Look version off. Uh, it's just all these kind of stuff. Aim response curve type linear, dynamic standard. So you have to go into here to actually activate this, all right? And then custom sensitivity per zoom. If you turn that on, you can actually change it per zoom if you're going low. Uh, let me just turn it on sec just to show you guys i would go low down to like 80 75 something like that uh two to three times again i would go down to like maybe 80 85 and then the higher you go like if, you, if you're using these you're pretty much quick scoping so you don't want to go low on these you want these to kind of be fast and snappy but i'm gonna turn it off because we do have the uh this one here turned on anyway so we don't need to turn it on because this is for all my guns all my groups all sites all that kind of stuff is all grouped into this right there so i, I kind of like and then uh yeah, that's pretty much that's pretty much it for there. We'll go to audio. I did change one thing already in here, and that was push to talk. Yeah, because I, I I'm recording my voice now, right? I don't want people to join the lobby and hear me talking to myself. That would be so weird. But yeah, voice shy volume 50. I always do that because some people have really loud mics. I don't want to hear them. I don't care about that much. Uh, proximity chat, definitely have that on because when you're using the meat shield, you want to hear those enemies, man. Last words voice chat. Again, you want to hear people. It, it's cool voice chat. You obviously have to have that on um voice chat output i'm using my yeti microphone so we're gonna set it to that and then this right here microphone level i put mine to 100 so people can hear me clearly if they lower this they can still hear me because my mic is still pretty loud so that's pretty cool and then uh push to talk obviously like i said I, I like to have that on and then uh yeah we'll go to audio here quickly master game volume the game play music volume i'm gonna lower that's the game. That's the music you guys are hearing in the back. Now I'm gonna keep it up for the sake of the video, so I don't have to like edit out different sounds and stuff. Just leave it all the same for now. But I usually lower this a little bit. Dialogue volume I keep up at 100. Effects I keep up at 100. And cinematic again I lower this. This is the music that happens at the start and finish of every single game. It's just sometimes it's too loud. You want to hear enemy footsteps and you can't because there's like huge music blasting in your ears. I just set that to that. Uh, and then pretty much everything there is pretty cool. Yeah, so the settings are very similar to Modern Warfare. Very similar. They just group them up differently. There is some new ones because there is some new movement things. But apparently, actually, let's go to interface because apparently you could change the HUD. You could actually change the HUD. I want to look for this. Yeah, here we go. Gameplay HUD. So we, the HUD bounds, obviously, we'll set it to the max. Minimap shape, I'm going to set to square. Minimap rotation, obviously, on. Radar, toggle the minimap backing on or off. What? The minimap radar back on or off? I don't get that. Could someone explain this one to me? I'm not sure. Uh, compass type, horizontal, minimap, or off. I'm guessing we're going to leave it as minimap because we have our min minimap on. It might show a compass under the minimap if that's the case. If that's the case, I'm just going to turn it off. But I'll leave it on for now. Try it out and stuff. Uh, vehicle HUD prompts after 10 seconds or never disappear. Yeah, we'll do after 10 seconds for that. Player names, full names, abbreviated icon, only leave it as full names. Damage based hit markers on, on that, that, that you want. Because if you are if you kill someone, you want it to turn red. You want to see that, obviously. And then hit marker visuals. Uh, yeah, obviously on. Readability, all that kind of stuff. All right, gameplay tips. We're gonna turn that off right away. I'm just going through every single setting. Like I told you guys, it's my first time opening this. So I kind of wanted to see everything. Uh, skip introduction movie. This is, I guess, the that little thing that plays every single season. I I usually skip it anyway, so I might turn this on, but some, some of them are cool. It, it's cool. Skip kill cam. Oh, no. Sometimes I want to watch my kill cam, so I don't want that. Um, connection meter. I'm going to turn this on. 
obviously yeah i, I, I want to see my connection ah, yeah yeah let's turn it on and then account and network yeah okay this here is probably gonna be on for you guys i normally turn it off this is kind of important because if you're shooting someone in game and you ever notice that when you shoot someone in game your your screen might freeze periodically as you're shooting them even if it's just like a millisecond or something and then it really screws up your accuracy and whatnot it's most likely because you have this on so dismemberant and and all that you want to have this off all right turn it off and you should be a lot better but that's the settings guys pretty similar to modern warfare 3 let me know what you guys think down in the comments below i'm hopping to some games i haven't played a single game yet and hopefully these new settings are pretty nice i'm still level one gotta level up guys i'm gonna be I'm going to be playing with every single weapon. I, I, I'm going to do that. I'm going to test every single weapon. This guy, I'm going to test a whole bunch of stuff. Got two weekends to do it. Thank you guys for watching. Drop a like on this video. Sub to the channel. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.